Hello there, friends, foes, people alike, gamers, people just looking for entertainment. It's been a while since my last video, but uh, it's a perfectly good reason for that. I've been quite busy with my, my summer job. As you all know, I'm a student going to a university here in uh, Espia. And during the summer, I got a summer job at a local supermarket. Well, more like a, a storage facility belonging to the supermarket. So I haven't had um, that much time, spare time, to produce any videos. However, uh, Minecraft also updated to 1.3.1 now. As of today, it's 1.3.1, which is great, and I love all the new features. Uh, I also love the snapshot for 1.4 with the work in progress block. <laughs> it's very interesting. Unfortunately, we are still waiting on Forge. Well, I, I've seen Forge has already been updated to uh, to 1.3.1. I think it's called Forge 4.0 something. But it's not running that great. So it's going to be a few days before servers are going to be able to run the new version of Minecraft. Uh, so I've been playing uh, a lot of other games. One of them is Kerbal Space Program. But as uh, many of you know, I also play a lot of uh, Battlefield 3. And yes, feel free to join me. You know my username, it's uh, V-A-U-P-E-L-L. -L. So that's basically what has been going on during the summer. There's only a few more weeks to go until uh, I'm going back to the university to return to my studies. But that also allows me, gives me a bit of more spare time to create some uh, some videos for games. Uh, where Minecraft is of course one of my favorite games because it allows for experimentation. And I do really love the new version of uh, Kerbal Space Program. You can see debris is left from old launches around I'm sure if we looked over by the runway there would be a lot of <laughs> explosions I blow up a lot of vehicles over there for those of you who don't know what this is well it's a rocket science simulator but it's instead of being sciencey it's uh, it's fun Yeah, <laughs> 
think this is going to uh, not even show up. the rocket appears to be floating we are not in space we are still rising that's uh, that's quite strange but uh, that's the acceleration from our rocket boost eventually it will stop well we're just going to let the rocket keep spinning he doesn't seem to like it that's his problem didn't even make it into orbit but hell this is almost like a ballistic missile Ooh. so let's check well we are at uh, 160,000 meters almost space but not quite there let's check out our orbit as you can see we are at the peak so pretty soon we'll be coming right down into the ground <laughs> that's a bad place to land and morning wood is coming down over there yep that's the name of the, the booster itself and we got some other stuff traveling around here from <laughs> from previously launched uh, aircraft because I don't think you can consider this a spacecraft it's more like an aircraft uh, one thing that's funny you can uh, go outside that's funny but uh, don't let go because at this speed <laughs> It will disappear pretty damn fast so let's just get back inside uh, and speed up time so we um there we go coming down and I think our launch site was over there uh, yes can we get any faster no Well, don't worry, Mr. Curfree, we got a parachute. Well, in, in fact, we got three for you. Uh, something like that. And parachute's out. Let's just wait until we get some air. Yeah. You can see the force decreasing into the green. We're basically slowing down, as you can see here, 200 meters per second. We should get down to around, I think it's 10 or 16 meters per second. and there's still one 900 meters down well that was fun 
Let's get a... Uh, how the hell do I get back to the space center? Like so. <laughs> That's one way. It was a success. We made some. Nice. Space travel. Uh, catastrophic failure? Hmm. That must be because one of the engines failed. I could not imagine what else. Well, I got the full version. So, uh, there's a tracking station where I can track stuff in orbit. Let's see. There's one there, one there. They're pretty close. Well, they might be crashing into the planet soon. This is where you build your rockets, and this is the hangar where you can build uh, planes. Do, 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 do. You can basically go crazy. Let's get rid of that one. Um, I think this one didn't work. But it was a, <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, that's right. As you can see, the engines, they are dropping down as weight on the wings. And <laughs> look at the direction. <sighs> that's not going to work. You don't even have to launch to see that. But hell, let's do it anyway. Let's uh, scroll back so we don't have this. <laughs> I'm not sure what crashed there. Well, well, uh, some sort of crazy freeze up. Anyway, we're back. We have loaded uh, another attempt, and this time we actually added controllable winglets or wing parts on the plane, and these can turn. The the jet fuel <laughs> has been a uh, well, let's drop those, because they are not going to help anything. Isn't, doesn't the fuselage have any fuel? Well, oh, it has three. Well then, duh, let's go, launch this, uh, let's, this puppy. Clear the runway, some debris may be out there. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, it's standing on one wheel. Oh, fixed. Okay, let's see. I'm working. I can't turn. Well, I hope these can <laughs> work enough because I forgot to add a rudder on the, on the tail fin. Let's try this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> because he survived. Well, that was a fun flight. It was a flight that partially worked and that partially didn't work. And uh, well, let's just let him land safely. There we go. Happy days. Yeah, take a walk on this strange planet. Yeah, looks very strange. Have you been here before? Maybe. No. Nope. Let's 
Hurry back to your spacecraft. There we go. Good flight, good flight. So, as you can see, this is <laughs> a lot of fun stuff can be built. I, I saw a, a YouTube uh, video with a guy, he made a, uh, what do you call it? A rocket in a car of some sort. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, let's try this one. And we might want to add a decoupler. Yeah, let's get the big one. Looks nice. Fits with the, the gas tank. We're going to add some fuel. And uh, let's see, uh, as you can see, when you look at the Indians, you look down right and you can see max thrust. And since we want this one to help boost out of the atmosphere, we want a lot of thrust. Bam. Hmm, aerodynamics is not something we really need. Now, let's turn on uh, symmetry and get four of these on right there sure that's fine and let's get some solid fuel rockets you can see 400 thrust so by adding four of these we have in effect uh, 1200 no 1600 and let's add some more so that's uh, 32 and one there. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Looks like something built in Russia during the Cold War. Adding the struts just to make sure they don't wobble because they will wobble if they are not uh, secured. No, 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 no. Why do you do that? No. Thank you. Um, there we go. Don't worry, once you hit the stage right here, they will blow off. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, let's get some nose cones. Mm. Oops. Sorry. Well, you probably can't see what I just did, but uh, I tapped out two windows. One moment. Mm hmm. I have a suspicion <laughs> this is going to be a very bad flight. But that's just the way things sometimes are. They are a lot of fun. So, delta wing, stable for gravity, lifting needs, sure. Look great. Um, this is liquid fuel inside, so we could add some sort of control. There we go. Thrusters. There. Uh, uh, lots of thrusters. And what do we have here? Well, maybe we should add some sort of control unit. Well, almost there. Let's just. Like so, we want to be able to uh, drop it off. And uh, a nose cone. Is that some sort of special? Oh, it's aerodynamic, yeah. Yeah, we like that. Or at least the people who are going to use it like it. Um, what 
else could be fun. Fuel crossfeed capable. Not sure. Some sort of uh, trust just like those, just in a different design. Uh, well, I want this one instead because it has an antenna. I don't care if it fits. <coughs> yeah, wings. Oh yeah. Lots of wings. There we go. Lots of these bad boys. There we go. That's going to be a lot of fun. Let's launch this bad boy. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I haven't even pressed anything yet. And something uh, fell off. Oh, that's this engine right here. Oh, maybe it couldn't handle standing on only two engines. I wonder what his problem is. Chat free. Anyway, chat free, we wish you best of luck and. worked so I'm not sure are you able to do a spacewalk now yep yep that was uh, one amazing flight he's walking into the concrete this is a small step for Kerbal, a big step for Kerbal Kine. Yep, flight ended, it was a success. Let's just uh, play around with these, <laughs> these engines right here. Maybe we should adjust the height a little more. One thing that's uh, funny about this game is that you can uh, set up symmetry and a lot of stuff but you are forced to place things manually it doesn't make sense at all okay we want to bring the ease further down there we go want to remove this also one up here. There we go. Want to add. Well, let's put it out here instead. And if it's very hard to tell if it's height, so this is a bit off, but better. I hope. Let's add uh, the last one again. Yes. And why can't I select? Thank you. Uh, hello. Hello. Okay. Let's add a strut between these. So, this is more of a traditional look. It might work. It might work. It might not work. Who cares? It's fun. Launch. Oh, by the way, before we launch, look at this. They got. Decals so we can paint the rockets eventually. That's going to be amazing. Okay, he's looking peaceful. No explosions. Rocket is wobbly. Let's turn on RCS and. Oh, look at this. This is a good sign. 
with my knowledge of aerodynamics, it means this is going to be am amazing. Raid of Kerman. right here he's landing now decobbling yes. tossing the wings and he landed perfect let's go out and see the hatch is obstructed but I can turn the wings End flight. Yeah, restart. Let's try this again. Half power, not using uh, anything but the SAS model. No, let's not use that. RCS, there we go. Half. Well, well let's just start the engines. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're able to spacewalk. <laughs> Amazing flight. You can see the rockets, the debris is flying over there. <laughs> so, as you can see, a lot of fun in this game. There's no all updates right now. Uh, I don't really play this very much, uh, just sometimes when I want to <laughs> just get a laugh. Battlefield 3 and Minecraft is my games right now. I just saw a Total Biscuits uh, review of Sleeping Dogs. The game looks interesting, but uh, well, for that kind of game it's too pricey for me i'm not going to spend 44 euros on a game that looks like that it well don't get me wrong the game looks amazing uh, and i do want to play it but at that price i'm going to wait until uh, at least a, a discount or maybe i'll go and rent it at blockbusters and play it on some sort of uh, console instead as of Minecraft, uh, I hope pretty soon we'll get the mods updated so we can get the, the Enlightened Balance server updated as well. I'm really looking forward to player 1 with 1.3 in multiplayer. So yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for comment. Uh, comment if you have any. Rate, subscribe. And uh, if you have any ideas, uh, let me know. You can uh, reach me faster on Twitter than probably on YouTube. I, I get a lot of comments on my older videos right now. So I, I don't really click on each comment in my inbox. I just uh, see the comments, but I do read most of them. But... Uh, I don't click into the videos and respond to them. But if you want a response, use uh, Twitter <coughs> or one of my websites. And I have two websites. I have tebt.org and uh, that's my gaming site. And my other website is evisyitems.org as well. EVI Systems. That's short for Equalizer and Faubel Industries. Yeah, don't ask. Anyway, hope to see you soon. Thanks for the likes. And uh, remember, gaming is entertainment. See you. Bye.